Well, the uh, dogs and I made it up to the cabin here. It's the middle of the week, the last week of September. <clears throat> uh, Stephen boarded the plane today and is heading off to Brazil for another peacock bass fishing trip with his college roommate and friends down there. So the dogs and I are up here just for a couple days uh, to get a few chores done. And the first thing I'm going to do is I want to build a rack to hold the chainsaws and toolbox and stuff when we use this cart if we're going out in the woods and that because if you just lay stuff in the bottom I mean obviously it holds it but stuff bounces around a lot and that so I figured there's got to be a better way to stabilize some things so I'm going to be working on that uh, now this afternoon and see what I can come up with. So here's my uh, plan so far. Kind of put this wood frame inside here. Put a little section there so this bucket doesn't, you know, slide around. And I think the gas and oil can can fit in there uh, also. And I might just leave this back section open and then my plan is to take the chainsaw and make three notches in this board and then be able to put the bar down through there and hold your saws that way and then strap them in with either a ratchet or a bungee cord to hold them and then I'm going to drill one hole in the side through the metal and that so that this frame stays. I mean I probably wouldn't have to but I think it would just make things a lot sturdier and then just have one bolt in each side holding it in place so anyway that's where we're at so far.
Okay, I got uh, room for three saws now, and then I'm gonna put a hook and on both sides. So we'll either be able to put a bungee cord or a ratchet strap through there to hold these while you're traveling. But this is going to be really nice rather than have these just lay in there and bounce around, I think. Okay, here's what it looks like. So I've got these three saws. Now we may not always have three of them, but you never know. And then I've got one bungee cord that's probably tight enough, but we'll see how, how it goes. And then you see that bucket with all of the tools and and uh, earmuffs and first aid kit and sharpening stuff uh, in there and the gas and oil on the side there and then you have all this space uh, to put other equipment your chaps and and different things other boxes you might need your backpack so uh, anyway, I think this is going to really make things a lot uh, handier and less uh, jostling around and tipping over and everything. So anyway, I think I used one 2x6 and a couple of 2x4s, so worked out uh, pretty well. There's Kira. There's chipmunks keep uh, harassing her going under the shed and then into the woodshed. Of course being a retriever I mean all you want to do then is uh, try and get the critters. Well you can tell that fall is here with all the uh, pine needles that are laying on the ground from the big white pine here. And you can see up on the roof there in the valley, they hang up there. So 
I usually bring the ladder a little bit later and kind of sweep those down so that in the winter you know if you get some ice melt and that it'll not hang up in the pine needles so much so I didn't do a lot of filming on this trip but I'll show you some of the things that I did accomplish uh, it was kind of crummy weather overcast some raining uh, I helped some friends with some trails you know cutting down some blowdowns from that big storm we had that knocked down the balsam and the outhouse and that a couple weeks ago so I was busy helping them and and that but uh, I'll show you some things I accomplished so I put the little fastener on the electric box there just so it wouldn't pull out at all so that's secure now the outhouse is all back together my next trip up I'll put some insulation back in there and then put the window in and put the foam seat in um, the other major thing I did here was on the roof here I got another new sheet of metal roofing the other one was bent and split for about a foot so potentially you could let you know water under it inside there and that so I replaced that uh, yesterday afternoon and then this morning you can't see it here because it was raining and that so like I said I didn't tape it but um, underneath this little deck here by the back door was the only opening space left you know that wasn't skirted because it was underneath there so what I did was I took that second board off this side of the door and I was able to reach under there and then pieced uh, a bunch of material in there to close that opening so now there shouldn't be you know anything for bigger critters I mean maybe a mouse will find a little spot they could crawl in or that but uh, anything like the you know chipmunks maybe squirrels skunks uh, rabbits other things you know that could get under there should pretty well be uh, uh, protected from getting in there so uh, those were I guess kind of the major things other than the trail work so uh, here we'll pan out on the lake a little bit you see the birch leaves are turning yellow on the way back into town there will be a lot of the maples that are red now so we're probably oh, a few days away from peak maybe, but um, it sure is nice. It's about 62 degrees out, but we had rain earlier and it's overcast now, but uh, still a pretty nice uh, fall day here at the Living North Cabin. So anyway, uh, we thank you for watching and, and uh, Come and join us on our next journey here to the cabin up in the Northwoods.